believe we're now not just soon to enter, but we have already started an era, not a period, an era of higher and higher inflation. And um, people talk about um, commodities are soaring. That's why we have inflation. I think it's the other way around. I think um, we have inflation, thus commodities are soaring and will do. And I think it, it largely comes from, um, um, as, uh, as the guy said, inflation is always and everywhere a monetary phenomenon. Um, the growth in um, uh, broad money globally is double digits per annum. It's just the, the rise in money is as fast as we've seen in decades in peacetime, if not in ever. Um, double digits per annum, free money. And um, I cannot see that ending because, um, I mean, I, I'm on the other side of the Atlantic, but everyone talks about the Fed. I even talk about the Fed. So let's talk about the Fed because it is, after all, the most important central bank um, on the planet. Um, the Fed is, of course, producing um, one, one and a half trillion dollars per annum. Um, and indeed, the Treasury is, is helping that as well. Um, and the Fed um, is achieving its objectives beautifully. Those who argue that the Fed's objective is stable money is, of course, arrant nonsense. Those who say their objective is low inflation is arrant nonsense. They're just looking in the wrong places. They're not looking at asset prices. Um, they're only looking at the official inf inflation statistics, which, as someone said recently, if you take out the things that are growing, then, of course, you get no inflation. And yet, even with fraudulent methodology for calculating inflation, um, just going back to my side of the pond again, if we had the methodology of calculating inflation that we had in Margaret Thatcher's time in the 1980s, today we'd have circa 10% per annum inflation. Your listeners can look at shadow stats, which shows that very clearly. Uh, even in America, it's what 5.7, I think it is, percent inflation. So even with fraudulent methodology, we've got over 5% inflation. Um, and with the money printing, um, in order to achieve the Fed's objectives, which is to raise asset prices, because after all, the Fed doesn't work for you or me. The Fed works for its owners. The people who own the Fed are, of course, the commercial banks. It is still astonishing to me that people who are in markets don't know that basic fact. The Fed is achieving its objectives elegantly. Do not fight the Fed. I said that to you in this podcast just over a year ago. Mm -hmm. Don't fight the Fed. It, it's not it, It's not something to be laughed at. It's to be something to be appreciated for what it is. So whenever um, the stock market, whatever you might mean by that, um, falls 10%, the Fed dives in. And um, the Fed will continue to do that for as long as its owners and masters determine it's appropriate. And when will that be? <laughs> it's when um, the retail punters um, are all in. Um, and that's when they will be shafted, of course. But this isn't going to just be about the stock market. Um, the, 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 um, the, the, the governments of the world require inflation. Um, that is, in effect, the way they are going to treat the debt that they have, um, the politicians have created in order to buy our votes for decades. Um, there's no way that they're going to do um, an Argent Argentinian style default of, of just basically not pay it and become a financial pariah. That's not going to happen. They're not going to do a Greek default um, and, and say, yes, we'll pay the debts in 100 years time. Um, they are, are certainly not going to, um, um, uh, what, what's the word, just cancel all the debts. That's not going to happen. They are going to go for the other default scenario, which is exactly what they're doing. Inflation. It's not future. I said future. They're doing it right now um, because they know they're at the end game and they have to get debt to GDP down. And the only way they can do that over 5, 10, 15 years is simply by raising inflation. Um, whether there's economic growth or not, um, in due course, the uh, ratio of debt to GDP will fall and then they can do it all over again. They're politicians. They don't work for us. They work for themselves. That's why we're going to have inflation for many, many years. It's, it's